You know, I understand that we're living in difficult times and many people feel extremely unappreciated. Uh, there's people that feel that they don't belong here, that they are tired of living, they are tired of going through what they're going through. But one thing I've learned, not that I didn't know, but one thing I've learned when I went through this sickness with COVID and my life was about to expire. I learned to value the little things in life, the very small things that we really don't take notice to, that we really don't appreciate because we're so used to life being the way it is. So it took that to really make me see. Now, I've always been blessed throughout my life. Never really had to deal with any sort of difficulties. Never really went through anything because my entire life has always, has always been blessed. And there's a lot of people that's like me that has never really went through anything and don't really appreciate the small things that matter to you. You know, when I was lying in bed and I was hallucinating, I was dizzy, cough, headache, defecating on myself, didn't know if I was gonna wake up. And the only thing that I heard on the news was everything negative about so many hundreds of people died of COVID. And I'm laying there wondering if I was one of those people. And I actually laid there and I started thinking back on my life and I, I questioned God and asked him why because I've always tried to do my best to live the best way possible. But yet, I'm now at the verge of death with COVID, passed out. And then I started thinking about all of the things that mattered to me most, my family. And you know, I was talking to um, one of my sons just recently, and I was telling him about, you know, knowing or learning how to appreciate family, you know, because my family was there, you know, and it just really shocked me, family that I hadn't heard of or heard from since high school called me to check on me right and that made the brother feel good right but when you're at the threshold of death and you start thinking of all the little things that matter to you most that restores your energy that restores you right and sometimes the most high will allow you to go through certain things in life so that you can learn how to appreciate what you already have see most of you are blessed already and just don't realize it because you are allowing your current situation or what you went through or even the death of someone to stop you from living never stop living always when you wake up in the morning, you have so much to live for. I was reading about this sheriff that committed suicide. I watched his videos. And he talked about things that were going on and he ended up taking his life. But throughout that video, I heard him say that he had children. See, suicide is an extremely selfish act. You're thinking of no one but yourself, right? And in spite of the family, in, in spite of his children, regardless of what kind of relationship they might have had, nobody knows, he was still selfish enough to take himself out, leaving his family, his children to grieve for him, to continue growing up, fatherless you don't have to do that see because you have so much to live for 
Just take time out to stop and look around you. See, life is moving so fast that most people don't have time or won't make time to slow down and just look around you and learn to value family, learn to value your life, learn to value yourself. Because if you don't value who you are, then you're no good to anyone else. You're making everyone else life miserable. So slow down, look around you and fall in love with yourself again. And once you fall in love with you, everything will begin to start falling in place. But you have to first change the way you think, change the way you view life. Get rid of that stinking thinking that's in your mind. Peace.